What's going on? I am back to my everyday lives. And today's topic is don't let your workout go to waste by doing these two things. So when you work out, your intention, of course, is always to see results, whether that's weight loss, muscle gain, strength building, or just, you know, toning up and getting fit, right? You always have a goal in mind. Um, and when you work towards your goal, of course, the main objective is to reach your goal. So any goal is possible to reach. The only thing stopping you from reaching your goal is just not having the right plan that is effective. So if you are working out and you're putting in a ton of effort, but you're not getting the result you want, then the plan you're working isn't effective, which means you're kind of just wasting your time, unfortunately. So, of course, in today's day, you're busy, I'm busy, everyone's busy, whether you work, you know, a busy job or you're a stay-at-home mom. Um, even if you're working from home, life is busy. I get it. So the last thing you want to do is waste your time. So I want to share two things that you need to stop doing um, if you don't want your workouts to go to waste. So the good news is when you stop doing these two things, you will see better and faster results. Um, you'll have more energy. You'll be more motivated to work out because now you're feeling good during your workout. You're seeing results. You're not super sluggish and you're not, you know, working out and getting super duper sore because those are typically a few of the things that stops people from working out and keeping, keeping consistent, right? So if you constantly work out and you feel super tired during your workout, you feel as though you just can't wait for the workout to be over and you're ready to kind of take a nap once it's over, then you're definitely going to want to stick around and hear this because this is going to be super valuable. Um, if you're working out and you're giving it your all, uh, but you're constantly getting super sore and like the sore that's like really not enjoyable, um, then it's hard to work out the next day. Um, then what I'm about to share is really going to help you get more energy, not be so sore, um, because exercise at the end of the day should make you feel good. It should make you feel energized. It should make you feel lighter, more flexible. Um, and it should also enhance your mood, not the other way around. So exercise shouldn't be making you exhausted and you don't need to find a super hardcore workout to get a good workout in. So here are the two things that you want to stop doing if you want to maximize your results and if you want to start feeling more energy day to day during your workouts. So we wanna make working out enjoyable, not miserable. So the first thing to stop doing immediately is to stop skipping out on your post-workout nutrition. So skipping out on your nutrition immediately after your workout does a multitude of things. So first, most importantly, if you just lifted weights and you did some resistance training and you, you were moving, you got your heart rate moving up and down, then your energy needs to be restored immediately. Um, it needs to be restored immediately to your muscles so that you can recover and build muscle properly. That's the whole point of working out, building up your muscles and then burning fat. And when you skip a meal um, after you're done working out, your body can't do what it's supposed to do in order to achieve the result that you want. So what you do during your workout is literally only half the battle. Um, if you start and you don't finish something, then you'll never be able to reach your goal, right? That's obviously, that's obvious. Um, and making sure you're eating within a 45 minute window after your workout is finishing the job. So you may be wondering, okay, so if I need to eat after my workout, what should I eat? And the answer to that question is protein and carbs. So when you're done working out, you always want to eat within 45 minutes and you always want it to be protein and carbs immediately after your workout within 45 minutes. So protein is essential for muscle building and carbs are essential for restoring your glycogen, which is the energy in your muscles. And during a workout, you use all of it. It's depleted. You need to restore it. 
So whether you have no time or whether you have time to cook for yourself, you know, an entire meal, making sure you eat after is critical. The good news is if you find yourself a really good high quality protein powder that tastes delicious, it doesn't taste good, but it tastes delicious, then all you need is a shaker cup with ice and water and you can grab fruit for on the go and there you have it. You got some protein, you have your carbs. And I'm stressing protein powder that tastes delicious because if you have something that's not delicious, you're not gonna wanna drink it. It's gonna taste chalky and disgusting. And you can make a post-workout meal in seconds. The key is just not settling for a powder that tastes mediocre. Um, you want something that tastes really good. Your life will become much easier um, and more satisfying, which is what we want. We want to eat things that taste good. The second thing that you need to stop doing immediately is, and this is going to be a little bit of a shock for most people, but thinking that more is better. So when it comes to working out, more isn't always better. Working out seven days a week isn't better working out than four to five days per week. And running every single day is not better than walking every single day. And, you know, you have people finding the most hardcore and most intense boot camp classes. And that's not always better than just doing a circuit with dumbbells and sticking to the basic and keeping things simple. And although this is unfamiliar from what you're used to doing, going after more and more is typically what's causing most people to stay stuck. So rest is critical, working out smarter rather than harder. You need to find a balance. You need to find exercise that you enjoy. You know, the, the workout for the amount of days that you prefer is what you want to stay consistent with. So I always have my clients choose from three to five days, nothing more, nothing less. And if you're struggling with seeing results and you feel as though you've tried just about every single workout and every class that you can imagine, then I would highly suggest and recommend to stop doing these two things. They're life changing. Stop doing these two things immediately. You'll start seeing the weight come off. Um, you'll start to feel more energy. You'll actually let your efforts be shown. There's nothing worse than putting in all this effort and not seeing the results. So I hope you enjoyed that. Again, rest and have your protein and carbs after your workout. So I hope you start applying this to your day to day. If you found value from this video, go ahead, like it, comment, share it with a friend. Uh, tomorrow I'll be hopping on and we'll be talking about why keto and why cutting carbs is keeping you stuck and maybe keeping you in a yo-yo diet cycle. So happy Monday. See you guys tomorrow.